maybe that ink is not so great and then you find the perfect match and that writing experience becomes sort of magical and I'm loving that. I haven't inked this up long ago I think it's been about a week now and I've always had trouble with my copper patterner so this is like a troublemaker ink and I've always had problems because of the particulates in it and no matter what pen I would put it in and please feel free to reach out to me if you would like me to send you some samples of this ink because I've got this massive bottle and I don't think I will be able to get through it all. Well, hello everyone. Welcome. I'm Katie and this is a Fountain Pen Awakening and I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're doing super well. I'm great. Today I'm sitting inside. It's a bit of a miserable day. It's a day off. So because we're coming to the end of the month, I thought I would quickly jump on and talk to you about the pens that I've reached for most this month. I know, I know it's logical and I know like, oh duh, but it's very interesting how when you explore the pen and ink combination, how some inks just, just are not enjoyable to write with in certain pens and then you get the pen and it writes well, but maybe that ink is not so great and then you find the perfect match and that writing experience becomes sort of magical and I'm loving that. So the first one I want to talk about is this. I haven't inked this up long ago I think it's been about a week now and I've always had trouble with my copper patterner so this is like a troublemaker ink and I've always had problems because of the particulates in it and no matter what pen I would put it in it wouldn't quite write the way I wanted to write and I decided to put the fine nib back in here this came with a fooder nib and all of a sudden I just like keep wanting to reach for this pen because it's just so much fun to write with and it seems to not have trouble whatsoever with these particulates in here and also it's just fun to swish this around right so this I have a bottle of and as you can see it's kind of like half empty now just because I keep like using it to do ink swatchings and fun things like that very very happy with this I'm very excited and the past week I've just been wanting to write with this all the time now being also sort of like a turquoise uh, ink it's sometimes it it writes a little bit too bright for my liking but for some reason in in this pen it tends to write a little bit darker because it does integrate the particulates in it you know how with some inks that are that are shimmer inks you write and um, and then all of a sudden you run out of shimmer even if you like twist and turn and shake it all about. This one kind of seems to see how light that is. So this one kind of seems to just write super well. I've just topped it up to I use like a little pipette. This pen comes with these little pipettes. So the Mahjongs tend to come with pipettes because they're eye droppers, obviously. So this fave combo is a mahjong oh i keep forgetting how to spell mahjong i keep wanting to spell it like mahjong the game <laughs> so this is the q1 with a fine nib a nickname a little bad man because of its girth not because i'm trying to offend anybody please <laughs> don't take offense it's just what it's nicknamed and this is inked with troublemaker ink copper patina then the patina kind of wants to refer how copper um kind of like tends to then with age it sort of oxidizes so i guess that sort of greeny uh, with this gold shimmer is that oxidization of the copper so i am loving that one and it's writing really well so i'm very pleasantly surprised and very happy because this means that now i can actually use this ink a lot more than it ha i have been and especially because I know that it works well in this pen, I can keep this pen inked up too. And have fun with that. Yay! Alright, so the next ink that I have been 
pleasantly surprised with is this ink here. Now, this ink, since I got it, which I got with my fella Proteus Slim, it came as a package, that pen and this ink, the gift sets. But, you know, I've never sort of kind of like liked this ink for some reason and I paired it up but it was too bright, too whatever, too something something. And then the other day I made a conscious decision and if you watch that video you will know that I said, okay, I've got all these bottled inks that I actually have to use. I can't keep on using samples, buy more samples, using the samples, buy more samples and not going back to the bottles. And especially this one. I haven't touched since I've got it. And then I put it in my... Pilot Prera Ivory with a CM nib. Now, again, I love this pen, but I've never found a perfect ink pen combo. Sometimes it writes dry, sometimes it, you know, there's all sorts of troubles. Whereas with this ink, I have been loving writing with this pen and I have been reaching for this pen, which, <laughs> you know, is awesome because then that means that I can actually use this ink. And please feel free to reach out to me if you would like me to send you some samples of this ink because I've got this massive bottle and I don't think I will be able to get through it all. It is the Sailor Manio ink and Sakura. So let me know people, let me know. And it is a bit of a chroma shader. So it kind of starts off this kind of bright orangey color but then it does settle down to be an orangey, pinky, blossomy colour, if that makes sense. <laughs> so this is my Pilot Frera Ivory with a CM nib. And yeah, like it just glides. Usually I find Sila inks a little bit too wet sometimes but in this pen it just seems to work perfect yeah classic and third which I don't ink up that much because I keep forgetting how much I like it. And um, I sort of like me one of those olivey, greeny, khaki -ish kind of like mustardy colours, like a little bit swampish. And this is that. Um, however, I keep getting sidetracked, as I said, with, you know, using up ink samples and then trying more greeny, yellowy, mustardy sort of colours. And then I've inked it up and put it in my Lemon Meringue, which is a Just Turnings pen. And this has got the actual, um, a special grind nib on it, which is my Soft Architect or Dentist nib. And I am rather uh, enjoying this writing experience because I keep reaching for it. And when you keep reaching for a pen, you're enjoying the writing experience because I tend to like have most of my pens inked up, you know. I might have anywhere between 10 to 20 pens inked up at a time. So I kind of, I use one a day to journal with or I use kind of one pen to journal over two days and I might go and write with all different pens. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Yeah, so kind of what I mean is that I don't use one pen for more than one session or for long prolonged writing. So I have to actually make myself do that because otherwise I don't use up my inks. So this is a just turning pen and it's a lemon meringue. And it is super fun. I really kind of enjoy the writing experience with the soft architect or dentist. Now my nib is ground down from a, a double broad. 
but having said that you can get all different line weights with it you know depending on, on what angle you hold your pen so this is a van demons ink and this is neptune's necklace and for those of you who are wondering what Neptune necklace is, it's a seaweed. Is that it's those bobbly seaweed little thingies that you find in rock pools, looking a bit like this, bubble, 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 and it's exactly the right colour. Do you know what I mean? When I was a child and used to clamber through the rock pools, you would find this. Yeah, so very pleasantly surprised, enjoying these very much, finding that I'm reaching for pens that I usually don't reach for. I mean, this is new, so, you know, I'm playing around with it, um, and I like reaching for, but this one, and this one especially, I mean, this has been sitting in my um, uninked section for a very long time, and then I thought the other day, oh, let me just ink it up for... For fun because this is a fun pen and let me just put its original nib back on because obviously with a food and nib you have to kind of be able to hold it in a certain way and this being so fat you can't like and it hurts your hand but yeah no i've just been really finding myself reaching for these three pens because i'm just enjoying the pen and ink combo so much and the way they're writing and this is how they look nice and dry a bit of a shimmer in there and that chroma shading with that pink and orange and darker pink but it looks kind of I would say it looks salmon pink doesn't it really and then you've got this beautiful uh, shading properties in this Neptune's necklace which does remind me a bit of um, Shinkei Shigo, Kobe Shinkei Shigo, and even a little bit, just a little bit, maybe Inaho was a little bit darker than that. But yeah, super fun. All right, guys, well, thank you very, very, very much for hanging out with me, for liking, for subscribing, and until my next one, Tommy Lee.